Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see this concept of cloud data fusion. So cloud data fusion, it's a fully managed cloud native data integration at any scale. So cloud data fusion, it's a fully managed cloud native enterprise data integration service for quickly building and managing data pipelines. The cloud data fusion web user interface allows us to build scalable data integration solutions to clean, prepare, blend, transfer and transform data without having to manage the infrastructure. Cloud Data Fusion is powered by the open source project CDAP. So what is CDAP? CDAP abbreviation Cask Data Application Platform that is known as CDAP which is an open source application development platform for the Hadoop ecosystem. CDAP lets developers, business analysts and data scientists focus on insights, analytics and business value instead of wrestling with infrastructure and integration. So what is the cloud data fusion? In another terms, I am going to explain it. What is a Google Cloud Data Fusion? So Google Cloud Data Fusion, it's a fully managed cloud data integration service that helps users efficiently build and manage ETL or ELT data pipelines with a graphical interface and a broad open source library of pre-configured connectors and transformations and more. Now, next we are going to see these interfaces. To use Cloud Data Fusion, we can use the Visual Web UI user interface or command line tools using the code free web UI. When using Cloud Data Fusion, we use both the Cloud Console and the separate Cloud Data Fusion web UI. In the Google Cloud Console, we can create a Google Cloud project and we need to create and delete Cloud Data Fusion instances. Our unique deployments of Cloud Data Fusion and we can view Cloud Data Fusion instance details. Next, in the Cloud Data Fusion user interface, we use the various pages such as Pipeline Studio or Wrangler to visually design data pipelines and use Cloud Data Fusion functionality. At the high level, we do the following things also we, are we can do these things. We can create a Cloud Data Fusion instance in the Google Cloud Console. Second, we can find our Cloud Data Fusion instance in the Cloud Console instance page and click the View Instance link in the Action column. This opens the Cloud Data Fusion UA in a new web browser tab. Next, we can use the various page in the Cloud Data Fusion web UI to visually design our pipelines and manage metadata. So no need to worry friends, we are going to see this uh, in our, uh, we, we are going to see this uh, Data Fusion demo in our upcoming video. So I'm taking the concept only. If you are seeing my next video, my lab, then you can understand easily. Okay, now using the command lines. Using the command line tools. Alternatively to the web UI, we can use command line tools to create and manage our Cloud Data Fusion instances and pipelines. There are two references in using command line tools. First one is REST reference, then second one is CDAP reference. So first REST reference, it describes the API for creating and managing our Cloud Data Fusion instances on Google Cloud. Next is CDAP reference. It describes the REST API for creating and managing pipelines and data sets. Next, we are going to see about the Cloud Data Fusion instance. What is a Cloud Data Fusion instance? A Cloud Data Fusion instance, which is a unique deployment of Cloud Data Fusion. We can create multiple instances in a single cloud console project and can specify the Google Cloud region to create our Cloud Data Fusion instances in. So based on the requirement and cost constraints, we can create a developer, basic or enterprise instance. Each Cloud Data Fusion instance contains a unique independent Cloud Data Fusion deployment 
that contains a set of services that handle pipeline life cycle management orchestration coordination and metadata metadata management these services run using long running resources in a tenant project so what is tenant project we can host the managed service resources dedicated to a single service consumer in a tenant project a tenancy unit can contain multiple tenant projects next we are going to see about the execution environment cloud data fusion creates ephemeral execution environment to run pipelines when you manually run our pipelines or when pipelines run through a time schedule or a pipeline state trigger cloud data fusion supports a data proc as an execution environment in which we can choose to run pipelines as mapreduce spark or spark streaming programs cloud data fusion provisions and ephemeral data proc clusters in our customer project at the beginning of your pipeline run executes the pipeline using mapreduce or spark in the cluster and then deletes the cluster after the pipeline execution is complete next we are going to uh, see this uh, concepts what is a pipeline what is pipeline no next we are going to talk about we are going to see about the replication job and next is uh, triggering then what is a plugin okay first what is a pipeline a pipeline which is a way to visually design data and control flows to extract transform blend aggregate and load data from various on premises and cloud data sources so next is pipeline node so pipeline node in the studio page of the cloud data fusion ui pipelines are represented as a series of nodes arranged in a directed acyclic graph or dag forming a one way flow what is a nodes nodes represent the various actions we can take with our pipelines such as reading from sources performing data transformations and writing output to sinks we can develop data pipelines in the cloud data fusion ui by connecting to other sources transformations sinks and other nodes so next replication job replication lets you to replicate your data continuously and in real time from operational data sources such as sql server and mysql into bigquery next is triggering we can create a trigger on a data pipeline called the upstream pipeline to have it run at the completion of one or more different pipelines called downstream pipeline we can choose when the downstream pipeline runs up upon the success failure stop or any combination thereof of the upstream pipeline run so next what is a plugin a plugin is sometimes referred to as a node usually in the context of the cloud data fusion web ui a plugin is a customizable module that can be used to extend the capabilities of cloud data fusion cloud data fusion provides plugins for sources transforms aggregates sinks error collections alert publishers actions and post run actions so next we are going to see a uh, few uh, features of cloud data fusion so first one is code free self service so code free self service it remove bottlenecks by enabling non technical users through a code free graphical interface that delivers point and click data integration next is google cloud native it is a fully managed google cloud native architecture unlocks the scalability reliability security and privacy features of google cloud next is real time data integration replicate transactional and operational databases such as sql server oracle and mysql directly into bigquery with a just few clicks using data fusion's replication feature next seamless operations rest apis time based schedules pipeline state based triggers logs metrics and monitoring da dashboards make it easy to operate in mission critical environment 
லாஸ்ட் ஒன் ஹைபிரிட் எனேபிள் எனேபிள்மெண்ட் ஹைபிரிட் எனேபிள்மெண்ட் இட் ஓப்பன் சோர்ஸ் ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் தி ஃப்ளெக்சிபிலிட்டி அண்ட் போர்ட்டபிலிட்டி ரெக்கை டு பில்ட் ஸ்டாண்டர்டைஸ்ட் டேட்டா இன்டிகிரேஷன் சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் அக்ராஸ் ஹைபிரிட் அண்ட் மல்டி கிளவுட் என்விரான்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ வாட் வேர் இஸ் கிளவுடு டேட்டா ஃபியூஷன் யூஸ்ட் கிளவுடு டேட்டா ஃபியூஷன் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் யூசர்ஸ் பில்ட் ஸ்கேலபிள் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டட் டேட்டா லேக்ஸ் ஆன் கூகுள் கிளவுட் பை இன்டிகிரேட்டிங் டேட்டா ஃப்ரம் சாயில்டு ஆன் ப்ரமிசஸ் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம்ஸ் கஸ்டமர்ஸ் கேன் லிவரேஜ் தி ஸ்கேல் ஆஃப் தி கிளவுட் டு சென்ட்ரலைஸ் டேட்டா அண்ட் ட்ரைவ் மோர் வேல்யூ அவுட் ஆஃப் தேர் டேட்டா அஸ் ஏ ரிசல்ட் ஸோ ஃபைனலி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி தி ப்ரைஸிங் cloud data fusion pricing is broken down by interface instance hours and data proc vms the basic edition offers the first 120 hours per month per account at no cost there are three types of edition we have developer basic and enterprise so these are the chart as per the google cloud documentation you can see these things so we have done with the concept about the cloud data fusion so cloud data fusion it's a fully managed cloud native data integration at any scale next in our upcoming video we are going to see the demo cloud data fusion thanks a lot friends if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel so that it will motivate me to upload more videos about the google cloud platform thanks a lot have a great day bye bye